Today is all about resistance, arterial resistance that is. Join me as we explore resistance on a Doppler ultrasound. One of the most important concepts in Doppler ultrasound is the concept of high versus low resistance. And this is important to us when we're using spectral Doppler ultrasound. Resistance is factors that impede or slow the blood flow. And it's the resistance that the blood experiences as it travels through the vessels. Arteries can change their pattern of flow, their resistance level to divert flow towards areas in the body that need it most. Arteries display either high resistance or low resistance patterns of flow. First, let's talk about high resistance. High resistance flow is a more pulsatile flow pattern and it's found in extremity arteries and areas that do not need constant blood flow traveling to them. A high resistance pattern has a small diastolic component and an area of flow reversal in diastole. When you look at the spectral Doppler waveforms, the way to tell the difference between a high resistance pattern of flow and a low resistance pattern of flow is to look at the diastolic component. If there's little to no diastolic flow, this will be a high resistance waveform. If the diastolic flow is high, then it's a low resistance waveform. Time to talk low resistance. Low resistance flow is for organs that need continuous flow going to them, such as the brain, which would be the internal carotid artery, the kidneys, which would be the renal arteries, the ovaries, which would be the ovarian arteries, and the testicles, which would be the testicular arteries. Low resistance flow is sustained throughout systole and diastole, which allows the organ to have a constant source of blood flow. A low resistance pattern has an increased diastolic component. Resistive index, known as RI, is a calculation that an ultrasound machine can make, and this measures the resistance, either high or low, that is present in a vessel. This is commonly used in types of ultrasound that assess whether a vessel is losing its low resistance pattern. Loss of a low resistance pattern is an indication of declining organ function to an organ that depends on constant blood flow. For instance, you wouldn't want the internal carotid artery that's supplying the brain to develop a high resistance pattern or the blood flow would not be constant to the brain. To measure the resistive index, the peak systolic and the end diastolic areas are measured on the spectral Doppler waveform and the ultrasound machine calculates out a number and that number shows whether an area is displaying continuous flow or not. Continuous flow would be our low resistant pattern. It also can tell us if it's losing its low resistance pattern and becoming a more high resistance waveform. The RA scale, zero indicates continuous flow to an area and continuous flow would be a low resistance waveform. One indicates systolic flow to an area but no diastolic flow. This would be a high resistance flow pattern and then greater than one indicates a reverse diastolic flow. Interested in learning more about ultrasound? Tune in on Wednesdays for new videos and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.